Welcome to the Neurology Channel, a YouTube channel dedicated to all things neurology. We have a passion for sharing our knowledge and experience with others. On this channel, we cover a wide range of topics related to the brain and nervous system, including common neurological conditions, diagnostic tests, and treatment options. We also discuss the latest research and developments in the field of neurology. Whether you're a medical professional looking to stay up to date with the latest research, or a patient interested in learning more about the brain and how it works, the Neurology Channel has something for you. So, if you're interested in all things neurology, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thanks for stopping by and we can't wait to share more about the fascinating world of neurology with you. Hello everyone! Welcome to our video on Normal Pressure Hydrocephalus. NPH. In this video, we will discuss the symptoms, treatments, and coping mechanisms for this condition. We will also discuss the research being done on NPH and the progress being made in understanding this condition. Introduction to Normal Pressure Hydrocephalus Normal Pressure Hydrocephalus NPH, is a condition where excess cerebrospinal fluid CSF, builds up in the brain's ventricles, causing pressure on the brain tissue. It is a rare neurological condition that primarily affects older adults. Symptoms and impacts of normal pressure hydrocephalus NPH symptoms can be subtle, making it challenging to diagnose. Symptoms include difficulty walking, urinary incontinence, and cognitive decline. These symptoms can significantly impact the patient's quality of life, making it difficult for them to perform daily activities. Treatments for normal pressure hydrocephalus The primary treatment for NPH is a surgical procedure called a shunt, which involves implanting a device that drains excess CSF from the brain to the abdominal cavity. The procedure is generally safe, and many patients experience significant improvement in their symptoms after the surgery. Coping with normal pressure hydrocephalus living with NPH can be challenging for both the patient and their caregivers. However, there are ways to cope with the condition, such as physical therapy to help with walking difficulties, and incontinence management techniques to deal with urinary issues. Research and progress research on NPH is ongoing, and there is still much to learn about this condition. However, recent advancements in technology have allowed for more accurate diagnosis and better understanding of the condition. Additionally, research is being done to develop new treatments and improve the current treatment options. Conclusion Thank you for watching our video on normal pressure hydrocephalus. We hope that you have learned something new about this condition and its treatments. Remember to consult a medical professional if you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of NPH. Thank you for watching the Neurology Channel. We hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We post new content every week so make sure to check back often for more insights and information on all things neurology. If you're interested in learning more about a specific topic, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.